So, in the last couple of days, we have gotten loads of information about the new GT Online update or DLC that will release on Tuesday next week or this week, depending on when you're watching this video, June 13th. The update is called GT Online San Andreas Mercenaries. And in this video, we will go through everything, absolutely all the information you need to know about the upcoming GT Online DLC. So the first bit of information that we got a few days ago was this newswire right here. It was actually released on June 2nd. Right now it's the 9th of June when I'm recording this. So this is a few days ago, but I decided to do all the information in one video instead of having loads of smaller videos. I just thought it's better for you viewers if I just make it one big video. So that's what I'm doing right now. If there's any more information that gets released right in front of uh, or right before the new update releases, then maybe I'll just cover it in some YouTube post. But yeah. Anyway, let's get cracking with this newswire. So it begins with introducing the new update. The San Andreas Mercenary is coming June 13th. Join a renegade outfit to take down Meriwether and other dangerous adversaries in the next explosive GT Online update. I will not read through every single word in these uh, newswires, but I will go over the most important parts so the video <laughs> isn't going to be like 30 minutes long. So basically, they're talking about how merry with their security, how they are doing contract killings and blah blah blah, and we as the players need to take them down. So we are joining a team of elite pilots and ex-military operators to battle against uh, Meriwether, essentially, in this new update. So here you can see a picture of it. Looks like we will be back at this, uh, what's it called, military ship or whatever. So this is the new guy, or he's not really new, we already have seen him before. This is Charlie Reed. He's the guy you get, but he basically is the guy, uh, he's the mechanic of your hangar. When you buy a hangar, you get this guy as a mechanic. He will play a larger role in this um, update because as it says here, you will go together with this guy who's an expert aircraft mechanic and do some private work, stealing sensitive data from server farms, conducting raids and dropping explosive payloads on high value targets across the state. So basically a lot of missions most likely will be like contact missions. I can't really see it being something like the contract with uh, or the contract update with the contracts there. I think it's more like contact missions, but we'll have to see on that. And this is a pretty big one. The Mammoth Avenger or just Avenger would actually get a pretty decent redesign in this uh, new update or upgrade maybe shall I say. It will now be equipped with a operations terminal and weapon system upgrades. Just from that I reckon the operations terminal is probably something like where you start missions and stuff and the weapon system upgrades is probably just new weapons obviously. So yeah it says that Aven the Avenger can be used to uh, do these missions very very likely you will need to have the adventure to uh, actually do these missions maybe you can just join your friends if they have it but probably if you want to do it yourself you will have to have the adventure uh, but luckily after this uh, new update you won't need a facility or a hangar to have the facility uh, um, sorry to have the um, avenger in it you can just you can just buy the avenger so yeah you can see here you can now have your avenger in your hangar if you want to have it there uh, but you can also have your hang uh, you can also have your avenger without even having a hangar or facility property so here we have our first bit of actual information about this new update this is basically some new improvements quality of life updates so when calling morse mutual insurance you'll now be able to claim all destroyed vehicles at once which is really nice because yeah before it took a while to claim all your vehicles but you don't have to do that anymore a new sprint control option will be available hold to sprint so finally you don't have to smash your controller to pieces every time you try to play gt online you get custom description tags for garages to help quickly locate your favorite rides that's nice i guess and also some new creator updates that we will get onto later because we have gotten new information about that 
So yeah, that was basically the first newswire. We didn't get too much information here, but we got a little sneak peek about what's to come. However, there is much more. After that newswire released a few days uh, after, this is actually 6th of June, this trailer released. So about four days later, this trailer released. So let's have a quick look at it right now. So that was the trailer and if we just look through it right now some of these screenshots here or some of these frames please give me a bit there you go a bit better of um, quality so in this picture there is a lot of new stuff this over here let's start with this one this is a new hard ring car I believe it I believe that's what it's called in English sorry if I'm mistaken there but I believe it's a hard ring car uh, and that's all nice and all but not too special this over here is a new SUV I'm pretty certain that this is a new Imani tech vehicle so that will be interesting to see what that's like I quite like the look of this uh, van or uh, not van SUV sorry so I'm quite excited to see what this is and this up here this is what we have been waiting for for so long this it's the weaponized Canada. Shout out to Gilly Master. My guy was praying to get the weaponized Canada into the game. And it looks like they're finally adding it. So yeah, fair play. And this over here, I believe is the Mogul, if that's what it's called. So in this frame, you can see the Avenger inside of the hangar with what I believe is the new livery, which is looking pretty nice. In this frame, there is actually a few stuff. Right here, you can see that the thruster jetpack is inside the Avenger. This was never a feature, so this is something new. Okay, so right here, we have the new mini SMG or whatever it's called. I'm not 100% uh, sure what it's called, but it's the new SMG, the new handheld SMG, so you can actually shoot it out of vehicles. So I'm really, really excited for this gun because if it is any good, maybe potentially better than the AP pistol, then that would be crazy. But we'll have to see. Right now it looks pretty good, looks nice. So yeah, I'm just hoping that maybe, maybe... Oh, I'll just punch the mic, sorry. And also right here, we have some new vehicles. These look a lot like a vehicle that's already in the game. I'm not completely sure what it's called right now on the top of my head, but there is a very similar vehicle in the game. However, this is not that car. This is a new vehicle, so which will probably be something the same. So this is a bit interesting because this looks like the new board. This is why this is why I said that I think you will start missions and stuff from the Avenger. Because right here, if you look over here, if you just tilt your head, you will see it says Meriwether Security on the screen, which probably just yeah, it, it probably is the place where you're doing the missions. I would be surprised if it's not. Okay, and this, this is really big. Right here, right in this frame. This is the new jet, by the way. This is the brand new jet uh, that, that, that's going to be released for the update. And right here, we get it confirmed that the jet will have VTOL uh, capabilities. Yeah, so it will be similar to the Hydra in that regard. Uh, because it can just lift up from the uh, ground. It looks really, really good. <laughs> I'm just hoping that it is super OP. Right here. It looks a lot like it actually has explosive cannons. Yeah, it does look a lot like explosive cannons. And I do think it is explosive cannons, which does make me a bit scared. But <laughs> let's pray it's not as OP as the laser jet and the Hydra. And over here, you can actually see front cannons, missiles and missiles homing. So that is that is what is going to have. So yeah, that, that was the entire trailer. Let's get on to the next piece of information. Because, yes, there is even more to talk about. So, this is basically the newest uh, news buyer we have. This actually was released yesterday. So, it is pretty new.
And right here, we get some more information about the new improvements coming to GT Online. Basically, the new quality of life updates. So yeah, uh, let's just go right into it. Firstly, the ability to claim all destroyed vehicles at once when filing a Morsh Mutual insurance claim. We've already talked about that. Next, Morsh Mutual will no longer charge for recovering personal vehicles destroyed during contact missions. The ability to select from individual floors when requesting vehicles from the Eclipse Boulevard garage. Pressing D-pad right will engage stealth mode on the new F-160 Raju plane. Vertical takeoff and landing VTOL will move to L3 slash LS. Holding L3 slash LS when flying all VTOL aircraft will switch it into and out of VTOL mode. So right here, there's a lot of information, okay? Firstly, we get to know that the new jets has stealth mode. And this is pretty crazy. If this thing has VTOL, stealth mode, explosive cannons, GTA is done, man. GTA is done. But the second thing we also get to know here is that the new plane will be called F-160 Raju, if I'm pronouncing that right, which in my opinion is a pretty cool name. Anyway, let's move on. The option to re-request an active mobile operations center, Avenger or Terabyte delivered closer to your location via the interaction menu. Additional filters for race types uh, when browsing the job menu. The Willard, Eudora and Classic, uh, Classic Broadway will be eligible for taxi work when using taxi deliveries. And let's say used vehicles will be removed from in-game websites to streamline the browsing experience. These vehicles will be made available via events showrooms, lucky wheel and other places. So that was all the vehicle updates. Now we get on to the gameplay updates. The first thing here is a new register as a boss option will be added in the interaction menu to make it quicker and easier to start an organization or motorcycle club. I was very, very surprised when I saw this. Register as a boss to basically combine the organization or CEO and the motorcycle club. I don't know how they'll do that. I don't know if they will remove CEO organization and motorcycle club or if they will have it just add boss as well. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but it sounds very interesting. I don't know. A buy all option when purchasing body armor at ammunition. Rank requirements for body armor are also being removed. Body armor will be restocked after quick restarting a mission, matching the same body armor levels as when first entering the lobby. When equipping body armor via the weapon wheel, the type of armor used will be relative to how much damage the player has taken. When parachuting or in freefall, players will no longer receive phone calls from Tom Connors or English Dave. Medrazo Dispatch Services Players will be able to select a name for their asset product via the interaction menu to receive a 5% sell bonus. That's an easy, easy money. Okay, that's basically free money just for naming your stuff. So definitely do that when this update releases. Just put some random name on it. Or if you want, you can call it something funny like Fast Ferrari or something. I don't know. Anyway, the last gameplay update we have here is rank requirements for daily objectives will be removed to allow more players to participate. Balancing updates. You heard that? They're actually balancing something in the game. Okay, so listen. Firstly, payouts on many collectibles and events such as buried stashes and treasure chests will be increased. We're also correcting payouts for Gerald's last play and a super yacht life upwards by 25%. This means that when you're now a beginner player, it will be much easier to get a decent amount of money and probably a lot easier and maybe even possible to get the Kasatka submarine very early in the game and basically completing the game very early. It depends on how much uh, the buried stashes and the treasure chests uh, will give you but still, it will probably be pretty good. It's already good, so it will be even better. They will also rebalance the weapons on the P996 laser 
and the Mammoth Hydra, but only for free mode. But that doesn't matter because it's only in free mode where they're getting abused as hell. So they will actually rebalance the weapons on these two jets. I'm wondering how they will do this, if they'll just make the fire rate slower, will, it, will they make the spread smaller, I don't know what they will do, but they will rebalance it and I think it's maybe to make the new jet look better. I think it may be just to nerf these two and then make the new jet basically the new laser so Rockstar can earn a bit more money because it could cost more money. This jet, new, this new jet could cost like 10 million and then everybody would want to buy it and use shard cards and you know the drill. And this one, we've been waiting for this one for literally six years. And this is that the orbital cannon can no longer be instantly reset or refunded to prevent players from being repeatedly targeted. So this, this will stop orbital cannon spamming. Hopefully, hopefully there isn't any workaround for this. However, the orbital cannon will still be a problem because what on earth does this weapon has to do in GTA? I don't understand it. And probably not many people understand it. I don't I don't think Rockstar understands it anymore why they even added it. But it's here and it will probably stay. Now, just quickly before I wrap up the video, we have the career progress. And with the career progress, uh, you can now track your criminal activities. Basically, how I see it, it's a better uh, way to show your stats in the game. It's only for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. It basically is just a new and improved way to look at your stats and how much money you've earned, how many people killed, probably that. that that's what I'm getting out of this. And that was the whole newswire. Anyway, that is all the information we have about the new GT Online San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. I'm sorry this video was very long, but I just wanted to make everything into one big video instead of making many of them because that would be a waste of my time and also a waste of your time. I like to just make one big video instead. So yeah, let me know. Are you guys hyped for this update? Let me know in the comments. It does honestly look like just some normal contact missions and stuff like that. The things I'm most excited for is the weaponized Kanada, the new gun and also the jet of course. The jet is <laughs> looking very tasty. Also, when this new update releases, if you want to play with someone or if you need anyone to play with or need help with anything, I suggest checking out the Discord that I recently just opened. It's a completely free Discord server connected to this YouTube channel right here where me and other members can help you to find new friends and people to ground with, do heists, help sell. But if you're interested, I will leave it in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video. Anyway, like and subscribe, all that. And I'll see you when the update releases very soon. God bless and thank you for watching.